let's find out if Dan Allen Gaming really is the best fucking show in town. Yeah, yeah, there's some nice stuff in there, man. We, it was weird because we we shot it like over two sessions, I think it was, and then I had to do an ADR session in LA at Formosa. And then I had to do an ADR session during the pandemic in my home studio uh, in my place here in London. And wow. that was interesting because they'd actually padded out a lot more stuff for him to do because they, wow. they kind of dug what the direction we took him in. So the boulder punching arsehole was definitely a, a love letter to the fans. Oh, yeah, that was and, awesome. And that was, yeah, it was really, I didn't, because I didn't understand the reference. Oh, really? <laughs> I was like, a boulder pinching? What? What the fuck? Why is he, why is he pinching boulders? I don't mean fucking sense. So they told me about like it's re five, I think, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was like it was like a nice. It, they literally said we just want to put it in because we we want the fans to know that we love them and we dig it and yeah, it's, you know. So they they had to say we'll say this and it's a reference that some people get, some people won't, but the people that will get it hopefully will really like it. So it's, so it's probably not, the I best like Easter in the game actually. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, no, cool. yeah. It's And no, I don't think anyone else would fit the role of Heisenberg. Maybe Nicolas Cage. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I actually, I got called out on that. And actually, it's true. I actually stole a bit of Nick Cage for Heisenberg. Oh, I, I would I say you stole it. No, I just, you know, a little, I squeeze a little of the Nick Homage. Cage's marrow. <laughs> I kind of... I don't know. I said this before in another interview. I don't know what it is about Nick Cage. I can't tell if he's like the best actor of his generation, like thirty years ahead of his time, <laughs> or he's he's just fucking mad. I can't. I think it it's out. the second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Either he's like amazing, or he's a crazy person. I just it's one of the two, right? Oh, um, yeah. I yeah. referenced. I, I do tend to like look at real world people for habits, and I don't know. Just I like playing around with different people, real people. And then just sort of like slotting them in. And I looked at Cary Grant and Jimmy Stewart as well. And uh, yeah. I threw, threw a dash of all three of them together and birthed. Heisenberg. So did that voice come out straight away? <clears throat> no, that took, I, I was actually, I was working with Creative Assembly and I was um, in a really dingy, appropriately dingy hotel in, <laughs> uh, near the studio when I did the audition for those roles. And they gave me a chance to go up for Chris Redfield. I didn't know it was Chris Redfield. I was like, and I looked at it, it was like, that's Chris Redfield. There's no fucking way they're going to give me that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, yeah. and Heisenberg was like, a, was like a nice distraction from something I was really struggling to get. Because um, Jeff Shine, who's incredible, yeah, amazing, awesome. talented. He is the only person in my eyes that could play Chris Redfield. He's, he's so talented. So when I'm looking at that, it's like, I'm struggling with this one. So Heisenberg for me was like, well, I can just have fun with this character because I can, I know, definitely understand it really well. So Heisenberg was all, the only note I had for the voice was transatlantic. Um, transatlantic. And, yeah, it basically means it's what the old, it's like Cary Grant. He's a British guy who was called Archie Leach, buggered off to Hollywood and then developed this kind of like American twang. Uh, so Heisenberg has a transatlantic accent, essentially. So he sort of talks like that. And I, that's why I referenced Jimmy Stewart a little bit. He's not transatlantic, but he has this sort of nice little stuttering thing. Cary Grant was definitely an inspiration. And then throwing Nick Cage... In there somewhere. <laughs> melting, melting it like cheese. Nick Cage cheese all over the top, right? <laughs> so, you know, you end up with this kind of Heisenberg thing, you know. Kind of, oh, I love it. Kill that boulder-punching ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. So things like that. And then on top of that, I also, the fact that he was a machinist and a tinkerer, mm. I, I, I kind of drove in this sort of like gravelly, almost like cogs knocking against each other kind of quality that you see in the family moment when, um, you know, when, yeah. <clears throat> it's really, it's hell on my throat actually, so I shouldn't do it too much. But he says stuff like, uh, what was it? How's the line go? Um, um, Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. So you just sort of drive yeah, those from a different pitch. Gravelly thing. Yeah. yeah, gravelly thing into a more smoother kind of almost louche, laissez-faire kind of like transatlantic Cary Grant, you know? Yeah. So I played around a lot. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you're doing. 